Hey, so this is weird, but uh, this is um, just me uh, making a video of myself, which never happens. Um, I tried this once before, uh, a, a long time ago, where I was walking home from work and I decided, hey, maybe I should just record myself talking uh, to sort of like just document my, my thoughts and stuff. Um, I had this idea from Thomas Tomska Ridgewell, Tomska on YouTube, um, great guy. Uh, he, he started vlogging basically and he says it was nice to look back on that time and I don't really keep photos or anything. Um, so this is kind of just a thing. Um, so I'm just gonna try and keep this up every day and just talk about stuff. Just, I don't know how I feel, what I think. Um, but I do want to have a disclaimer, um, because it's possible that there are people I know who will find this and watch this. Um, one person in particular, Austin, hi if you're watching, um, you, uh, you know, you might see this because I know you're subscribed to the channel. Um, I want to make it very clear that this is just mostly for me, um, and it's, I don't want anything I say uh, or show in this kind of video to be mentioned in casual conversation or brought up. This isn't a cry for help. It's not going to be me secretly saying, hey, I want, hey, 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 I, w I want you to worry about me and stuff. I don't, I don't want that. So, I am just going to start talking about stuff. And, oh boy, I, uh, I can think of one topic I kind of want to talk about. Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah. Alright, so now that Austin has clicked off the video, um, I love Dungeons and Dragons. It's great. It's been such a great, um, uh, thing for me to get into. Um... Which is weird because I never thought that I would be the kind of guy who likes D and D. I never thought that. I never thought that I would enjoy it, and it's not because of like you know the um, the scandal back in the '90s of like Satan or whatever. Uh, and it's not because you know it's not even because D and D's for nerds. Um, it's because I just never was exposed to it growing up. Like it was just something that was sometimes mentioned in television. Like, sometimes you would hear people say Dungeons and Dragons, but that never, it was basically just like saying we're playing fantasy game or RPG or something like that. Like, I had no actual grasp of what it was or what it meant um, until about like a year and a half ago, maybe two years now, um, I started listening to um, a podcast, a D&D &D show. Um, because there were a bunch of people I knew who were playing in it. Uh, Nate Wants to Battle, uh, Holly Conrad, and Pro Jared. Um, Dice Camera Action. They, I was familiar with those three and I was a fan of their work. Um, and I decided to watch it. And it was DM'd by the amazing Chris Perkins. Mm. And... He's the best DM ever. And so I started watching, or listening rather, to this D&D. And I was like, wow, this is great. And I started to listen to other stuff. Team Four Star started streaming. And then through that, I found The Unexpectables, who were just the best D&D podcast ever. Um, and I just started listening to all this D&D, and I got really into it. And I decided, hey, I want to try that too. And so I got my friends together and well a few I have and we started playing a very wrong and broken version of Dungeons and Dragons because I had no idea what I was doing um called Minecraft D&D &D, um where I would make the stage of play in the world of Minecraft so it was kind of like an interactive world which turned out to be more work more work than it was than was worth it because 
As cool as an idea set sounds, it's only cool if you have pre-generated assets and mods, which I had neither of. I did the best with what I could, but uh, it wasn't great, and in the end it ruined the campaign, kinda, the beginning is a little weird. My players probably don't think so, but I don't look back on it too fondly. Um, I made a lot of mistakes, uh, and, and basically got so bad where I had to, I had to stop and I had to tell everyone, like, okay, so either we have to switch to this service called Roll20 and I play actual D&D, or we're just gonna stop doing this altogether. Um, cause I couldn't deal with, this happened when I was trying to, um, make a large city with a big cathedral. And I was gonna make that in Minecraft. Yeah, fucking right. I was gonna make that in Minecraft. Nope. Uh, I even had a friend helping me out, and it was still just like, it's just too much. It's just too much. I'm not a great builder anyway. And my friends that are good builders are players, and I don't want them to see the assets before they get there. I don't want them to know the secrets and stuff. And so it's way easier to like describe it than it is to make it like so yeah and we started using actual character sheets I redid all their character sheets uh, with actual character sheets and uh, it turned out well the campaign's still going now or a bit of a hiatus but um I think that it's fun and I hope that everyone's enjoying it and they're not just lying to me about enjoying it I have that crippling fear that they're just trying to be nice and they're not they're just they're just not enjoying it and they just refuse to actually tell me because I feel like it's going to hurt my feelings. But whatever. Um, I'm enjoying it, even though it's kind of one-sided. I'm railroading them super heavy. Um, I've been I've been listening to a few um, uh, r slash DM horror stories and like the fact that I can look at some of those uh, stories and be like, Wow, I've done that, or I've been like that. It it kind of shows, but um, I'm trying to get better. Um, this honestly, this whole campaign is garbage. Um, I just can't wait for it to be done. I can wipe my hands of it, and I have a new campaign in mind, uh, which is far more better. Um, with less restricting, more open, more options, just. I don't, I don't want to be that kind of GM that ends up in, on DM Horror Stories. I don't want that. So, uh, And yeah, in, in my free time, I, uh, I just kind of I work on D&D even if it's not for anything. I made like a whole campaign, campaign like du- kind of like a dungeon, I guess, inspired by Chris Perkins. Um, just on my off time, thinking that you know, I'd never use it. I'm actually going to use it here soon, but... Um, but yeah, I made all these characters and stuff I thought I would never use, and I just do that for fun. Um, I've got this sweet kobold hexblade that I would love to use in an actual game, but it's more likely just gonna keep being an NPC in my own game because I like him a lot. Um, and so, I don't know. It's really the only thing I like these days. I um, it combines everything I ever wanted, like at all. Just game design, storytelling, uh, writing, just anything I've ever cared about is just here, and it's nice. You know, it's nice to it's nice to feel like you can make something and other people can appreciate it. You know, it's probably as close as I'll ever get, but I mean, so be it. I've already accepted that I'm probably just, I've peaked, essentially, and it's never going to get any better than this, which is kind of pathetic, because, you know, it's not even that great. Um, so, yeah. But it's at least been a nice creative outlet for me to, um, to express myself, um, and I, I enjoy playing just as much as DMing, um, but they're both very different experiences, um, but they're both super nice. I am a bit of a rules lawyer, um, I, uh, I'm very much guilty of being like, um, actually, 
actually I can do this as a standard action. Actually, that's not how you use that reaction. It's you know, I can't help it. I I know far too much about the game to just let my knowledge go to waste. You know, it it'll help somebody. You know, eventually my rose lowering will help somebody when I say, actually, you forgot you have this extra damage because of this thing, and they're like, oh wow, thanks. You know, I didn't realize that. I don't know. It has it has yet to happen yet, but I'm hoping that. It will. Uh, but yeah, I am. Um, D and D's fun and it's nice. I am. Um, I I love doing it. I was thinking about this at work today. Um, tough to talk about, and um, I don't know if I should get into it, but um, you know, do you ever have that friend? You know. Like, or you know somebody who's just, like, better at the thing you always wanted to do and, like, more confident at doing it. And you can tell that they'll probably have a career in it and they'll be great and they'll be super successful and awesome. And then you just will, you know, be left behind and it won't matter because, you know, you were never that good anyway and no one even wanted you around. You know, do you ever feel like that? You know, it's just, it's, uh, it's pretty hard some days. I, this is why I can't ever talk to people about this. I feel more comfortable talking to myself, but I just, I can't really, I don't know what to do. I just, it's hard enough just getting up in the day, you know. I need something like D&D to distract me from, uh, from everything. It's, it's the only thing I've got going for me. And if, if that's kind of sad, it's probably because it is. I don't know, maybe things will get better one day, but... You know, this tall fucking cliff that I can't really see over it. So what's either going to happen is I'll make it over or I'm just going to, you know, get close to the top and fall down. And if, I, if that happens, I don't think I'll be able to get back up. So yeah, I'm just trying to take it one day at a time. Because I can't, I can't think any farther than that. I literally can't. But who knows? Maybe by the time I'm looking back on this, I'll be, you know, moderately successful. Where I'm in a point where I don't have to worry about basic income. Um, and all my debt's taken care of and I'm fine. And I get to make a living playing D&D or writing for something cool. I mean, who knows? You know, I guess anything is possible. But it's just hard to think about the good. And that's again where I want to say that this isn't a cry for help. And I don't want anyone to see this and come try and talk to me. Because I won't talk to you. So this is this is for me. It's probably important that I do this. Because either one day I can be able to look at this and be like, wow, I've come so far. Or... It'll be something nice to play at my funeral, I guess. I mean, you know, I don't think there's any other reason for a thing like this to exist. It's either, oh, wow, that's where I started, huh? Or, you know, here lies, you know, Matthew Rogers. Um, these were some of his thoughts on the struggles he had day to day. Um, uh, we're going to skip the parts we're talking about D&D uh, and just, you know, get to the sad stuff so you won't confuse that. That's why you're at a funeral. Um, but, yeah. Dungeons and Dragons is a fun game. I like rolling dice. I like I like D20s. They're very nice. No. This is a fun dice to roll. Unlike D6s. D6s aren't as fun to roll. Because they're, they're the dice you use for fucking party games. D&D's not a fucking party game, Artem. Alright? 
I want to roll fucking D20s. I'm tired of it. D20s are the way to go. I got a six. I fucking suck at rolling. Um. <laughs> God, I probably have fucking bipolar disorder. Uh, I guess. I don't know how much longer my phone's going to last. This is being recorded on a phone, actually. If you can believe it, anyone who's watching this who knows me is like, wait, when the fuck did Mac get a camera? I can actually use my phone as a webcam. I bought a, I bought a tripod for a phone for a contest I never entered um, because I was going to buy a camera, but I'm like, wait, does my phone have a decent enough camera? Um, it, it looks kind of shitty, but it's probably fine for being, you know, something I already had. Um, and so, yeah, it was like, I mean, I could technically do this, and like, you know, I don't like being on camera, I'm not gonna edit this video, because I don't want to have to watch myself do dumb hand things, or look down at the camera and be like, why the fuck did you look down there, or listen to myself back, because no one likes that, so this is just gonna be uploaded raw, if anyone's still watching this, I really doubt anyone's watching this, if you're if you're watching this, leave a comment and subscribe because fuck YouTube. Um, yeah, I don't know. Um, it's possible that some people might end up seeing this because in the future I hope to upload um, sessions of D&D to this channel. Or a different channel. has a better name on it, maybe less cringy stuff. Um, so yeah. I mean, maybe you found this through that. I don't know. Maybe you're Artem and you found this by reverse engineering my fucking shit and finding my channel. Like you did before for some reason. Mm. Uh, so, yeah. It's like 1.30 at night and I had to put the door back up behind me because uh, cause that door has been broken since I moved back into this room. And because it looks better that way than it does in my closet. I don't know why I'm trying to be a little bit professional. Like I took the cans away from my desk so it didn't look as bad. But I, I don't even know why I gave a shit. But yeah. I think this video is going to turn out kind of nice. I mean like I'm using OBS. I've got like a nice background. So it's not just my camera. So it looks a little less bad. This is a map of the Sword Coast, by the way. Um, I don't know if anyone... I think the camera keeps freezing, but it's probably fine. Um, I don't know if anyone cares, but, you know, this video was supposed to be about D&D. So, I mean, like, Sword Coast, hey. No. Not that bad. I also look like shit, because it's 1.30 in the morning after a work shift. Uh, and I, you know... My hair doesn't look good until like hours after I'm out of the shower. So, eventually it will return to being a normal state of hair. Um, you know, actually from this angle I don't look that fat. If I turn like this way, it's like, uh, uh. But uh, from this angle, you know, it's not that bad. I don't look that bad from the front. Uh, definitely an improvement from uh, high school me. You know, I've gone up. I've gone from a four to a five. Which is pretty good for me. Um, I don't know how long this video is. It's probably pretty long. I'm hoping this gets uploaded to um, to my computer and not my uh, not my phone. I think the camera died. Oh yeah, the camera totally fucking died. Well, I guess that video is ending now. Uh, I mean, it wasn't at full health to begin. <laughs> health it wasn't it was a full on battery to begin with so you know fuck it you're just gonna have to look at me in this weird fucking thing um again i don't want any judgment on this video i don't want any one to bring this up to me in real life uh, and i would prefer if you know if any randos on the internet found this and watch to the end for some fucking reason so they don't try to give me health or life advice uh and they don't try and you know belittle me any more than I already am like lord knows I don't need any of that shit so yeah I guess this is the end now um goodbye